بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <coughs> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله الإيمان بالله to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the pillars of Iman it is one of the pillars of Iman and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked in the Hadith of Jibreel about Iman. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he responded by saying Al Iman in Tu'minu Billahi wa Malaikatihi wa Kutubihi wa Rasulihi wa Yawm al Akhir wa Tu'minu bi Qadri Khairihi wa Shar. That Iman or faith is to believe in Allah, to believe in His angels, to believe in His books, and to believe in His messengers, and to believe in the Day of Judgment, and to believe in the Divine Destiny, that everything was decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he began with the first pillar, which is the pillar of the first pillar of Iman, which is to believe in Allah, to have faith in Allah. And having faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means that you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because in order to have true faith in something, you have to have some knowledge of it. Even if it's from the unseen. This is why from the characteristics of the believer, as is mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون الله سبحانه وتعالى says after بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم and ألف لام ميم he said that is uh, this is a book in which there is no doubt ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين a guidance for mankind الذين يؤمنون بالغيب those who believe in the unseen and establish the prayer and from their wealth they spend upon those who they are charged to spend on behalf of so, we've never seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we believe in Him. And we love Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we worship Him. And that Iman Billah is Tawheed. Meaning that you have to have knowledge of who Allah is if you're going to worship Him properly. You have to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of, of the heavens and earth and the sustainer and the provider and that He subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most beneficent and the most merciful and that He tabarak wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship so all of our supplications our hajj our Umrah, our prayers, everything is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibadah goes to Allah, Azza wa Jal. And it also necessitates knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes, as are mentioned in the Quran and the authentic sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that we believe in them as they are. Kama ja as they came in the Qur'an and came in the authentic sunnah. So we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above His throne in a manner that suits His majesty. We don't uh, distort that. We don't uh, negate that. We don't try to change the meaning or make a similitude between Him and His creation. And we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest 
heaven every last third of the night. We believe in that. That's a part of Iman Billah. Because the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Yanzilu Rabbuna Tabarak wa Ta'ala Kulu Thulu Thulayl al Akhir Fayakul. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as in Sahih Muslim, that your, our, our Lord, Yanzilu Rabbuna Tabarak wa Ta'ala, that our Lord, the Almighty and Majestic, Subhana, descends to the lowest heaven every last third of the night. We believe in that. We don't begin to distort that and say, well, how could he do that when it's now here in Washington State, we are about Vuhr time. And in Sweden right now, it's about two in the morning, perhaps. And in Saudi Arabia, it's about three in the morning. And in such and such place. So we don't try to make, try to understand but that's rather, that's knowledge of the unseen. We believe in it as it came in the Kitab wa Sunnah. And we affirm it as it came in Kitab wa Sunnah. And this is believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having Iman Billah subhanahu. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm al nafia wa rizqan tayba, wa amal al mutaqabbilan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.